Hello, everybody. I'm Yoshimi Sano, AGU Women's Technical Member. I am a former gymnast and now a high school teacher. My subject is computer, and after school, I teach gymnastics. Dear AGU family, welcome to our second AGU online educational seminar for our Asian judges. As everybody knows, due to the current situation of the pandemic and due to the cancellation of the postponement of many events and activities for this year, 2020, to avoid any risk of the spread, because safety comes first. Therefore, Women Technical Committee, with the full support of AGU, decide to organize this kind of seminar and webinars to keep our judges connected, active, motivated, and updated with the latest rule. Today, we are going to start our second session with the balance beam. We will have the presentation and the practical video and its analysis. First for degree and then for easily. Five routing each. We are going to give you an evaluation period of one and a half minute for the evaluation and 30 seconds for e-evaluation. So you can feel the competition and exam atmosphere. Now, let me introduce you to our expert for today and for the rest of this set of seminars. Mrs. Mm -hmm. Lima Dena Gazargun. Hello, Lima. Hello, dear Yoshimi. Hello, how are you? I'm good. How is everything? Yes. Good. Okay. Okay. She is our AGU Women Technical President, former gymnast, former national team coach, international coach, and physical education teacher. Welcome, dear Lima. We Thank are very you. happy to have you with us. And now I leave the floor to you. Thank you very much, dear Yoshimi. I'm so happy also to be here. It's my pleasure. Good to see you. And let's talk about Balance Beam. So, dear everybody, as my colleague Yoshimi said, uh, we are here uh, in this platform uh, on the Zoom and the uh, Internet because of the current uh, situation. So, as I said before, it's our... Um, uh, adventure, it's our time to get improvement uh, every time uh, because of this uh, special situation. Today our topic is the balance beam and as my colleague uh, Yoshimi said, uh, we try to take the advantage of this uh, special time uh, to change it into positive result and that's why we try to use these platforms, uh, the Zooms and webinars to stay connected with you. It's a new challenge for uh, everybody, for us as well. And we are trying our best to stay connected. So when we talk about the beam, as everyone can guess, it's very special apparatus. And let me first of all uh, tell you about the presentation of today. It's, uh, you can find it uh, uh, on the STS program, which is developed uh, by the Women Technical Committee of uh, FIG to serve all the judges uh, during their education. Uh, it's really useful and I recommend you strongly to get into there and find all the videos, the presentations, the evaluations that you need or prefer. And uh, it's always a big advantage for us. And when we talk about the balance beam, as I said, it's very special apparatus because it's the apparatus uh, of accuracy, neatness, and elegancy. And due to its height and narrow surface area, it increases the level of difficulty and the need for a perfect technique. It requires an extensive amount of repetitions to master the performance. So it's beautiful, but not easy apparatus as well. It needs a lot of uh, physical preparation and perfect techniques and repetitions. If we start uh, directly with our 
uh, de jury evaluation, as it's shown in the beginning, we talk about the recognition of the elements and connections with the leaps and jumps with turns. So when you have under rotate uh, turning of more than 30 degree, then the, we have to consider it as another element in the code of point. The position of the shoulders and the hips, it's decisive. Don't forget this. Let's have some examples, as we can see here. Okay, very neat. And this is a jump straight with full turn in the side position of the beam, and it's counted properly. If we move to the other video, for example, as you could see here, the gymnast, she rushed in the beginning of the element. So usually she intended to do the full straight jump on the side of the beam, but unfortunately, it's not counted because she rushed in the beginning of the performance. Split and straddle jump with half turns in the side or the cross of the position of the beam. Let's see the first examples. So from the side of the beam, split jump, half turn. As you could see, this is good. And no issues. If we move to the other video, uh -huh. as you could see, unfortunately, the gymnast, she rushed in the beginning of the turn and uh, no DV because there was no insufficient, uh, there was an insufficient split as well. So no DV. When we move to the other video, other example, let's see. Now, this is for uh, example for the cross position, not the side, but, okay, the previous one, we said no difficulty. Here, unfortunately, also, she tried to do the split jump half from the cross position of the beam, but it count only like split jump because of the rushing and not complete the turn. Another example for the split jump half turn from the side of the beam. As you could see, the gymnast, she has a look sideward and also she rushed in the beginning of the turn. So she meant to do the split jump half turn in the side position of the beam, but we count only split jump and because she's looking to the side and there's no insufficient turn. Okay, jumps with turn, full turn, 360 degree turns. Let's see the example. Okay, this is okay, no question. If we, if we, when we move to the other example. Okay. So as you could see here, the wolf jump full turn, it become only wolf jump half turn for the same reason, not complete the turn. Okay, switch leap half turn. Let's have the example. Mm -hmm. As you could see, there is not a full complete uh, of the turn. It's not complete. And that's why it's not switch leap half turn, but only recognized as switch leap. Johnson technique. So uh, some gymnasts, they do the, the switch leap half turn, but passing through their lateral or straddle position before they complete their turn. This is fine. And let's see the example. Okay, as you could see, switch leap half turn, and she passed while turning through the lateral or side split. Now let's see the Johnson itself. Okay, as you saw, she tried to do with half turn, but she landed exactly like Johnson jump, and then she complete while she's on the beam. So this is only Johnson. Jumps and leaps with a ring. 
this is very important on the beam and usually also on the floor. So uh, when the, there's no arch and release of head or when the foot is at the line of the shoulders or below, then it should be another uh, evaluation. Let's see the example first. Mm -hmm. So as you saw here, we can see she has lack of arch and the back rear foot at the shoulder line, not enough arch. And you can see here on the slow motion as well. Okay. So in this case, unfortunately, the arch uh, and the requirement for the ring, it's not fulfilled. And that's why we consider it, consider it only switch lead. Let's see another example. Okay. And here, same gymnast, we had the screenshots or a pause while, while she's uh, in the top of the performance. And you can see here much better uh, for the foot level. It's at the crown to the head or uh, at the head level and better arch. And that's why we give the leap to ring. Now, if back foot lower than shoulders or no arch or release of head, then in this case, it will be considered either split jump or season. And if landing on one foot or in the front leg at below 45 degree, then it will be considered like a ring jump, okay? Let's see examples for the split jump to ring. Okay. This is fine. As you could see here in the shot, it's clear with the arch, with the leg crown to the head. And if we move to another example, This is okay also. Let's see the one last example for this jump. Okay, unfortunately, it's not uh, fulfilled all the requirement. So we consider it only split jump. No arch, that's why. Let's see another good example. From the gymnast on the beam, Sarajeva. So as you could see here, she has the arched clear release of head and rear foot at head level, almost crown to the head. So it's okay. This example. Leap to ring. Not counted. Let's see why. As you see in the slow motion, the gymnast couldn't fulfill the requirement of the release of head and also the arched, as you can see on the line in the middle of the picture. And that's why when no enough arch, no DV. Turns, as everyone knows, the turns must be completed exactly the position of the shoulders and hips are decisive. Degree of rotation is determined once the heel of the support leg drop and the free leg should be at this specific position throughout the whole turn. Let's see an example. Okay, as you could see here, unfortunately the gymnast leg was not held in prescript position. She dropped it uh, early, the free leg. And another example. Mm 
but before we move to the other example, so the previous uh, back hold the, the leg behind, it become normal turn. And when you when we move to another example, you will see now turn with holding the leg up forward. Also, leg was released too early. She dropped the free leg too early, and that's why again it's only normal turn on one foot. Yeah. Another examples for the turns. Okay, so she tried to do the turn on one foot with the free leg at horizontal. Leg is too low at the beginning of the turn, as you could see, and that's why we consider it normal turn on one foot, on one toe. The next example. Uh -huh. Here also, turn not complete, and that's why no DV. Okay. Connections with turns. Let's see the connection values and the series bonus values. Let's go for the first example. Okay, so here demi plie before turn, which is not uh, preferable. No connection value. If we move to the other example, Okay, here the gymnast bent legs before turn, and that's why no connection value. Let's move to the last example of this turns, connections. Interesting connection, and she can get zero one for the connection value plus another zero one. It's clear. Gymnastic or dance and mix connections. Let's see the first example. Switch leap to switch leap half. Connection is awarded 0 0.1 for C plus D. Dance connection. Let's see the other example. Which leap, which leap half, salto backward, tuck. Let's see what we have here. So she got the connections of the first and the second, and also zero one for the series bonus. All right. Another example for the gymnastics or dance and mix connections. Okay, split jump, half turn from the side of the beam and followed by the straddle jump with half turn, again on the side of the beam. So it's D plus D and connection value is 0 0.2. And the other example, aerial forward to illusion, turn, no connection either because of the pause or the slowdown in the connection, or also can be because of the not completion of the illusion turn. Recognition of stretched salto. To receive E, there should be stretched position shown throughout salto. Only slight piking early at approximately 45 degree after the vertical, as a preparation for the landing, it's allowed, but it should be all the saltos uh, turn is straight position. Let's see the example. So 
So as you can see here in the pictures, you can see the straight body even after vertical, uh, at minimum at the 45 degree. And then after this level, she can land and pike a bit earlier, no problem. Recognition of the stretched salto as examples shown here in the videos. Even though it seems to be very low, but she can get awarded the stretch salto because as you can see in the other two squares of the pictures, she had a straight body until inverted position and even after until 45 degree before landing. So we give it stretch salto. If we move to the other, oops, sorry. Let's move to the example of the second video. Seem to be nice salto, but as you can see here in the picture, after the inverted position, the gymnast started early to pike in her hip joint and even before the 45 degree. And that's why this is more clear in the second square. So it's spiked salto. If we move to the last example of this slide. I think it's quite clear, uh, more clear to be considered pike salto. You can see the pike on the hip joint when she's in the 45 degree. So this is pike. Forward acro connections. You know, we have very rare uh, connections on the beam uh, regarding the forward uh, acro connections. So let's see the example here. Aerial forward to side salto. There is no connection value because it's non rebounding connections. Okay. And if we see the other example, So the first example, she can get the composition requirement of acro series, but no connection value, as I said, because no rebounding. For the second video, she can receive the connection of 0 0.2, oops, sorry, and forward hand spring with or without flight always will be recognized as a B for connection value in rebounding connection. Okay, that's it for the D jury presentation and important notes. Now, if you are ready with your papers and pens, let's do some exercise, a practical evaluation for the as D jury. So we will start with our first routine. And uh, remember, all the D jury duties and, and uh, job and try to apply. If you are ready, we can start with our first routine on balance beam for evaluation as D jury. Here we go. Oh, sorry. Let's work the video first.
Okay, the routine is done, and I'm gonna give you a period of one and a half minutes to evaluate as the jury. Last few seconds. And time's up. So if you are done with your evaluation, we can move to the analyze of the D score. Okay, let's see what we have. So as you can see, she had the start the pike salto with the fall, but it, it's still E. And then the flick flag with a three quarter turn, D. And then she had the acro series of uh, flick flag uh, layout step out, C, unfortunately with another fall. And then she had the aerial forward, free aerial forward, D. And the switch leap to Johnson, CC, with a connection value of 0.1 and uh, fulfilling the composition requirement of dance series and then she has the turn and split jump with half turn on the side position of the beam but unfortunately it was not complete so it's the evaluated to B and the dismount round off and two and half twist which is D so we have the difficulty value it's 2.8 composition requirement full two, two point and only 0, 1, 4 connection value, and the D-score is 4.9. I hope you are happy with your evaluation. And let's move to the other uh, routine. If you are ready, we go.
Okay, routine is done, and I'm going to give you the period of one and a half minute for the evaluation. Okay, time's up. I think it was only half minutes, but we can add more. No problem. And if you are ready, we can move to the analyze of the series. So as you can see here, we had the salto forward as, uh, sorry, the uh, forward roll. And then salto forward pike, switch leap to ring, which is E, and then wall, um, sheep jump, C, and then she had the acro series, round of two, back layout, straight, and B, E, zero, one connection, as per the connection rules, and then salto forward tack D, and then aerial forward, and then switch leap half, there was no question, with a little deductions for the lack of balance, and then the switch leap to wolf jump, which is dance series, and the turn, and finally the dismount, which is BF and connection of 0 0.2 as per the connections rules. So we have the difficulty is uh, 3.6 and 2 point for the con uh, composition requirement and 0 0.3 for the connection value. So the D score is 5.9 strong series. If you are happy uh, with your uh, evaluation, it means you are on the correct line. And we can move now to the second, uh, third exercise or routine for the evaluation. If you are ready, I'm going to start the video. Okay, routine is finished. Period starts.
Last 10 seconds. And time's up. Let's go to see what we have. So we have the start mount A, and then we have the salto forward starting with one foot, jump, it's C, flip flag, and then we have the salto forward tuck, D, and then we have the turn on one foot with the free leg at horizontal, but unfortunately, it, as you saw in the performance, it was not held as prescript position the whole, uh, in, in, during the whole turn, so we evaluated to A, and then switch leap, C, and then again another turn with holding the leg up forward, 180 degree split. Also, unfortunately, she had a drop early, the leg, the free leg, so it's the evaluated to A, but as long as we have A before, so nothing, no DV here because it's repetition. And then we have the free aerial forward, which is D. And we have the dance series of a split jump to wall, to yes, wall jump. And then we have the switch leap half turn, which is also unfortunately not completed the turn. So it's the evaluated from, uh, we considered another element, which is switch leap only. And again, since we have this switch leap before in this exercise, so we don't give any value because it's a repetition. And we have the dismount, the gainer salto pike in the end of the beam, which is B. So the difficulty value, it's 2.1 and composition requirement, it's two. And the D score is 4.1. I hope it's okay for you. And let's move to the third or fourth exercise of the D evaluation. If you are ready, I'm going to start the video. Okay, exercise is done. And I'm going to start your period of one and a half minutes.
Last 10 seconds. And time's up. Let's see the analysis of the routine. So as you could see, she has the mount, like scissors mm -hmm. mounting on the beam, and the double turn on squat position, D, and then the side salto, T, flick flag, layout step out, layout step out, as acro series. And as you can see here, we have the C plus C connection zero one and the series bonus of zero one. Double turn on one foot, D, but unfortunately with fall, and the switch leap to saison. And then we have the free aerial forward and then free aerial sideward and no connection because of the pause or slow down and the split jump B and then they dismount round off and two and a half twist backward. So we have the three point for dif difficulty value, two point full special requ uh, composition requirements and zero two for the connection and the D score of 5.2. Hope everything is okay with you as well. Let's move to the last routine as D jury evaluation. And here we go. Oops. Series is done. Let's move. Oh, sorry. I give you the period of one and a half minute.
Last 10 seconds. Time's up. And let's see what we have. <coughs> so we have the mount, like thief jump or a squat uh, sit, and then uh, flick flag to salto backward, layout step out, <coughs> sorry, and then switch leap half turn. And here we have the free aerial sideward D with the one point for the fall, and then switch leap to split jump. The aerial forward, free aerial forward, as you could see here, there is no value because unfortunately the gymnast didn't show a clear support of her foot on the beam before the fall. That's why no DV. And then we have the turn and the leap and then side salto and the finish gainer salto in the end of the beam with full tuck uh, twist. So the difficulty value is two, two and a half point. The composition requirement full, which is two point and no connection value. And the D score is four and a half. So I hope you are happy with your evaluation and you are doing quite well. And if you are done with this, Let's move to the E jury duties and deductions as a presentation, and then we will move to another five routine for E jury evaluation. <clears throat> as you remember, and as you have always to remember, there is uh, execution deduction, and there is also compositional deductions and artistry deductions. So please try to remember all deductions before you evaluate the exercise as e panel or e jury okay and uh, especially the artistry which is the self confidence uh, the personal style the rhythm and tempo variation of rhythm and tempo in the elements and movements and also the creativity and should not be a series of uh, disconnected uh, elements or movements so try to memorize all deductions before you move to the evaluation. Now, let's see some deductions and some examples in the videos. So specific apparatus deductions, we have the adjustment, which is, uh, we see it uh, in most of the routines. If we see the first example, So as you could see, she tried to have a, an extra step. And remember, adjustment, it's uh, a, a performance of unnecessary steps or uh, movements. So we call it adjustment. Let's see the other example. Oh, sorry. Um, let's close and let's see the examples. Let's repeat the example. Adjustment, again, zero, one. And one last example for adjustments. Oops. Something went wrong, let's see. Ah, yes. Unnecessary steps before she go into the acrobatic elements. Again, it's adjustment and 0 0.1. Now, let's move to body shapes deductions. So, what is the body shapes? The body shapes, it's including the insufficient split, the bent legs, the toes not pointed, and the legs separated, etc. The maximum deduction for body shape is 0 0.5. And remember, deductions for height, precision and landing taken on the top of the body shapes errors. So it's different deductions. Okay. 
Let's see some examples for the body shapes. First example. Okay, zero one for body shape and zero one for lack of balance. If we move to the other example, switch lip to ring and zero one for body shape. The third example, switch lip to ring and zero five for body shape and zero one for balance. And if we move to the last example, again, switch to ring and zero five for body shape and zero one for balance. Ring jump, ring jumps and leaps. Let's see another examples. So zero one for body shape and zero one for balance. Another example. So we try to make it bigger, but no problem. And as you can see, now zero three for body shape and zero one for balance. And the last example. And we have here zero three for body shape and zero one for balance as well. Ring jump or leaves. Let's see now the sheep jump example. Okay. So we have zero one for body shape and zero one for the step and zero one for the lack of balance. Move to the other example. Sheep jump and zero three for body shape and zero one for balance. If we move to the last example for the sheep jump, okay. Now you can see we have zero five for body shape and zero one for balance. Deductions for the skills and connections, including body shape. Let's see the first example. And we have here zero five for body shape and plus zero one for height. As we said, the height, precision, or other deduction like landing deduction, it's exclude the body shape deduction. That's why we have here zero five body shape, zero one for height. And the second jump, we have zero three for body shape. Let's see another example. Okay. So the first jump, the zero three body shape and zero three lack of balance. Second one, zero three body shape, zero one for rhythm in connections. And the third one, zero three for body shape. Okay. Turns in tuck stand. Let's see the video first. She has two tuck stand turn back to back. Three and then two. And as you can see here, we have excessive arm swing preparation in the beginning of the turn, which is zero one. And then we have zero three for body shape for the legs and the toes and the nuts uh, holding it horizontally throughout the whole turn. And then in the second one, we have zero one execution for the arm swings and zero three for body shape and plus zero one for the balance. Let's see the other example for the tuck stand turn. Okay, quite hard time for the gymnast and we can see here she has zero three for body shape, not stable leg position or bent knees and the toes plus 0 0.5 for grasp the beam to avoid fall, okay? And 
deductions for acro scales and connections. Let's have a look to the side salto. Okay, so we have zero one for precision, grasping uh, the leg only with one arm, and zero one for lack of balance. So for side salto, the grasp must be with both arms. Other example. Okay, here we have insufficient tuck position, which is zero three, and also body posture, zero one. Let's move to stretch salto. The stretch salto should be shown, maintained uh, throughout the whole salto. And if she have failure to maintain stretched body, then we can deduct uh, 0 0.1, but still consider it as stretch. In case she has, as we said before, at the D uh, jury evaluation, after vertical, if she doesn't maintain the stretched body until uh, minimum to the 45 degree after uh, vertical, and she's spiking there or early, then we consider it pike salto and we deduct for insufficient pike, zero one. Okay. So stretched or pike salto deductions. Let's see both examples. As you could see here, there is 0, 1 for insufficient pike, 0, 1 for the height, and 0, 5 for the lack of balance. Let's see the other example. Okay, and here, as you can see in the screenshot, the body is maintained straight until even after vertical to 45 degree. So we give a stretch, but we deduct 0.1 for the rhythm. And we move to another examples for the deductions for the acro connection scales. Salto forward tuck, as you could see, we have 0, 01 for the height and 0, 03 for the posture, body posture, and 0, 01 for lack of balance. Another example. And here we have oops, 0, 01 for the foot. I cannot read exactly, I'm sorry. And we have the, the 0, 03 for the balance. Let's see the third example in this slide. Round three round off with half turn. And here we have 0.3 for body posture and 0 0.1, 0 0.1 for step. That's it for the presentation uh, and details about the E deductions. And if you are ready again with your papers and pen, let's move to evaluate five routines as e-panel this time. And as I said in the beginning, please try to remember and apply all the deductions, whether it's a artistry deduction or specific apparatus deduction, body posture deduction throughout the whole exercise. This is also important. And of course, the landing deductions. So. If you are ready, let's move to the first routine. Watch carefully, and here we go.
Okay, routine is finished. And let me give you a time of 30 seconds for your e-panel evaluation. Last 10 seconds. And time's up. So if you are ready, let's see what we have in our evaluation and deductions. Uh, I tried to write uh, every single deduction, but I'm not going to uh, stop and highlight uh, everything. I will highlight only the medium or big errors because uh, you can see it's written here everywhere. Uh, and I want to remind you, my, summar my summaries are uh, BS, for example, it's for body shape. So you can see the tuck stand turn. She has zero one for the body shape and uh, zero one for additional uh, or ad adjustment. And then switch leap, we have zero one body shape and zero one for additional movement to maintain balance. And we go on like this. The, here, the 014 for height, the H, and also we have 014 for body shape. Here we have 014 for additional movement to maintain balance. Okay, as long as this is our first routine as E, I'm gonna go through everything. But the next series, we will only uh, talk about the medium or big errors. So side salto, we have here 014 for insufficient tuck and 014 for additional movement to maintain balance. I tried here to write only ADD, which is the short of uh, expression of additional movement to maintain balance. Aerial forward, again, zero one for the balance or additional movement to maintain balance. Uh, split jump to ring, zero three for the body shape, as you can see here, and zero one for the balance. Front handspring is zero one for the knees, bent knees. And also we have the salto forward, zero one for body posture in landing and zero three for additional movement to maintain balance. Switch lip to ring, zero one for body shape and zero one for additional movement to maintain balance or let me sh say shortly balance. We have here zero one for adjustment and in the dismount we have only zero one for precision and zero one for the step. So the total deduction is 2.4 as execution plus we have for artistry 01 for rhythm and tempo and 01 for lack of creativity so the total e deduction is 2.6 if you are somewhere here nearby or the same or a little bit up or down it's all fine remember in the beginning of our evaluation as e jury i would like to mention that it's always can be a little bit varied from one judge to another. It's not necessary to be exactly the same. It's always there can be a tolerance or gap, okay, between the judges. And that's why we have 5E or 6E in the competitions. Now let's move to another routine for E panel evaluation. Ready? Here we go.
Okay, protein is done. Let me give you the period of 30 seconds for e evaluation. Last 10 seconds. And time over. Let's see what we have. So as you can see, again, different uh, deductions for different um, elements. For body shapes in the beginning and uh, balance. In the turn, we have also body shape and balance. And you can move one by one, and you can see the deductions uh, in the full rhythm of uh, connections. And we have for the height also, don't forget, even for the small little jumps. Here we have a 0 0.3 for this uh, stage leap for the body shape. And in the dismount, we have 0, 1, 4 cross legs, 0, 1, 4 legs apart, and 0, 1, 4 the hop. And don't forget the deductions throughout the entire exercise. We have here 0 0.1 for releve, uh, not working on releve. It's a body posture false throughout the routine. And so it's 2.9 plus 0, 2 for artistry, which is 0, 1 for the performing of the exercise as a disconnected movements and element, and also 0-1 for lack of creativity. And remember, as I said always, these deductions may be varied. Sometimes you can have similar deductions, but for different reason, no problem. It's always a tolerance gap. And the total deduction we got here is 3.1. It can be more, it can be less. Let's move to the third routine for the evaluation as e-panel. Here we go. And finish the routine with the dismount at the end of the beam. And let me give you the period of 30 seconds. No problem. We can have a little bit, few seconds more until I set the time. And time up. Let's see what deduction we have. Uh, so as you could see here, we have the most big uh, error. It's the fault. 
the fall, which is a one point deduction for the fall. And don't forget to deduct every time, each time for the adjustment and for the pause to apply it at the second second. And as you can see here, we have another pause here and body shapes for the turn zero three for balance and shapes and precisions. We have another zero three here in the wolf jump for the additional movement to maintain balance, another adjustment. And uh, for the aerial, free aerial forward, three one again for uh, movements for uh, maintain balance, additional movement. And for bent knees, here we have uh, medium errors uh, for the body shape of the split jump in side position of the beam with half turn. So zero three for body shape and zero three for additional movement to maintain balance. Again, split jump at the side position of the beam, zero three for body shape. And in the dismount, we have zero one for the height, the tuck salto at the end of the beam gainer, and zero one for the little hop. So don't forget, as I always remind, the total deduction in the end of the exercise. We have here a zero one for body posture falls, uh, which is relevé, missing or lack to work on relevé, and also zero one for the amplitude. So total execution is. 4.6 and we have 03 for artistry, for the creativity, for the disconnected performance of uh, the routines like disconnected movements and element. And also we have one compositional deductions of the missing close elements or movement uh, or combination close to the beam. So the total deduction for E is 4.9. And remember always, it can be varied from one judge to another. Let's move to the other routine for, for evaluation E deduction. And with the dismount, we have this routine done. And let me give you again the period of your 30 second evaluation. And time up. Let's see what we have. So in the beginning, we have 01 for the arms. And then you can see for the turns, we have body shape, additional, and additional, which means lack of balance, 01, lack of balance, 01. For the Johnson, we have the biggest error of the body shape, 0 0.5 for the body shape, and 01 for legs apart. Again, you see the A in the circle, which means adjustment. 01 and for the back salto also we have body shapes and little hop again for the switch leap we have 03 for body shape deduction and we continue 
uh, we can see here the side uh, walkover, uh, free walkover, side world. Precision 01 in addition to 1.4 uh, fall deduction. And again, adjustment and again, uh, fall body shape in the split jump 0 0.3. And we continue towards the dismount to see that we have in the gainer salto tuck in the end of the beam, 0.1 for the height, 0.3 for the insufficient tuck position in a uh, single salto, and also 0 0.1 for body posture in landing and 0, 03 for the very large jump. In addition, as always remi rem reminding you, we have uh, some deductions uh, for the during the whole exercise. So lack of working on releve 0, 01 and 0, 01 for the amplitude. So the e execution deduction is 4.4 4. 4 and artistic deduction of 0, 01 for the creativity, 0, 01 for rhythm and tempo, and 0, 01 for the disconnected movements and uh, elements. So the total E deduction is 4.7. And it can be always varied, varied from one judge to another. Let's move to the last routine to evaluate for today's session as D panel. Here we go. And that's it for this routine. Let me give you your evaluation period of 30 seconds. Last few seconds and time's up. Let's see what deduction we have for this last routine. As you can see here in the beginning of the salto forward tuck, we had, she had an extra step zero one and zero three for additional movement to maintain balance. The other salto forward tuck, we have zero one four step and zero five for the additional movement to maintain balance. Switch leap, we have only bent legs. We have the split jump, 0, 03 for body shape, and then also another body shape, 0, 01 for the turn and adjustment. Knees for the flick flux each, and salto layout step out. We have 0.3 for additional movement to maintain balance. And we have there also 0, 01 for the adjustment. and Zero one for the pause, no deduction for the aerial sideward. And then we have the round off and towards the dismount, which is double backward tuck. Zero one for leg separation and zero three for large step. 
And if we try to see the uh, deductions throughout the whole exercise, we have here 0 0.1 for lack of work on releve, which is body posture, poor body posture faults, and it's the 2.8 for execution, and we have for artistry 0 0.1 for disconnected elements and movements, and also 0 0.1 for the lack of creativity. And in total, we got here three points for the execution deduction. I hope you are happy with your evaluation. As I mentioned always, these uh, deductions can be varied from one judge to another, and it can be more or less, it depends on your point of view, and sometimes it's different from one committee to another. That's it for today for the evaluations of the E and for the balance beam in general. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had enough time to watch, work, follow, and evaluate yourself before, before you see the analyze. Mostly these uh, presentations and the videos and everything in here, you can find it in the STS program which was uh, well prepared uh, from the FIG Women Technical Committee. And also you can find many other materials in the YouTube channels and uh, in different uh, sources. So thank you very much for now. And I would like to call my colleague Yoshimi to join me again in this platform. Yes, thank you very much, dear Rima. I thank you also. It was really my pleasure. Thank you. Okay. For your presentation and continue effort to maximize to benefit for all judges. I am sure all our judges enjoyed working with you. And for those who missed today's lecture, they can watch it again in their own convenient time on our AGU YouTube educational channel. Please remember to follow up with our next session next week about floor exercise with our expert Lima Kazergan and moderator Lima Aman. Until then, stay safe and keep up to the good work. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you very much. Goodbye.